Hey there team, my name is Nick Post and I'm the Senior Product Designer for Manage Analytics and I'll be standing in as PM for uh, Analytics in 13.6 and I want to talk to you today about some of the great things that we have scheduled for, for 13.6. So we have two key personas that we're focusing on um, within this milestone. The first persona is our Application uh, Development Director and um, this development director is specifically um, within the uh, Enterprise DevOps Reports category. And uh, with regards to this persona, um, they are looking to understand more effectively how GitLab is being used and then the impact on their organization and their workflows since adopting GitLab. So that's one of the key things that we'll be helping to um, add some, some functionality and insight around. And then secondly, we will also be helping our everyday GitLab team members and everyday users uh, with some, some general dog fooding features as well. So um, our key objectives here are to lay the foundations for DevOps reports as a feature set for our application development director and also continue providing some great features which will be used by GitLab team members and everyday users um, in, in, in software development teams. Um, as well as this, we hope to also add some components to our data visualization library so we can continue to uh, build better UX and, and, uh, and ship with greater velocity through use reusable components. So I wanna show you our build board and point out a few of the things that I'll take you through. So uh, with regards to our DevOps reports, we have a DevOps for adoption, adoption MVC right here. We have uh, a dev uh, DevOps uh, segment, which goes hand in hand with this. We also have uh, user availability, which we'll dive into in a bit, as well as some great um, enhancements to MR analytics and potentially issue analytics as well. So for the DevOps adoption MVC, as I mentioned before, um, the application development directors are looking to understand more and more how GitLab is being used and how that's impacting their organization's workflows. Uh, so we're going to start here with an MVC um, that looks a little bit like this, showing how uh, different segments, which I'll talk about in a bit, uh, are adopting different parts of GitLab with a Boolean expression of true or false and uh, seeing that across some of our most popular feature sets. This will then be iterated to include more features and functionality in later stages, but we found that this is a, a nice balance of an MVC um, to show some of the, uh, the features that are being adopted across a number of the segments. So based on, uh, on that, there are a number, I'll, I'll show you the issue around segments. And uh, segments are, a way of categorizing or uh, bringing together different groups and projects and subgroups um, in one predefined segment is what we're calling it. So this allows you to add groups to a segment as well as exclude subgroups and projects as well. In our first iteration, we will just be having top level groups uh, within our segments and then in later iterations we will add subgroups and projects and the ability to exclude them uh, from this functionality so we get more finite uh, control over what actually is seen within a segment. So uh, segments and DevOps reports um, adoption will go hand in hand and uh, we'll have users being able to define a new segment with top level groups and then these segments will show up within the um, DevOps adoption table and we'll see how uh, different features are adopted for each of these segments, meaning that our application development directors have a better understanding of what parts of their company or what parts of the organization are, are, using, um, are using GitLab and, and how effectively that's, that's happening. So that's uh, define a segment. And then also, uh, within GitLab, we have the ability to set statuses. So I can add a status here and have an emoji and all this sort of stuff. And what we're finding is that uh, this 
uh, status is can be quite difficult to report on because there's no standardized way of showing whether or not you are busy or whether you're out of office and so on, meaning that we can't be 100% sure when uh, trying to create different analytics pages whether or not a user is actually busy or not or until, until we have some standardized way of solving that problem, uh, which means that uh, we don't have the data for things like uh, reviewer or uh, maintainer dashboards, availability dashboards, things like that. So this right here is a feature that not only helps uh, users uh, communicate their availability and status of whether they're busy, but also sets up the foundation at a later stage for us to gather the data in order to have some more sophisticated analytics around uh, um, merge request, uh, merge request uh, reviewers and, and uh, availability. So this right here is uh, set user availability and effectively as an MVC, really simple, we're gonna add a checkbox right underneath this, this um, status, uh, uh, status box. And uh, if you check that box, yes, that will add a busy uh, indicator and text next to your name and this will appear in various parts of the product and from there um, you can then deselect it to, to remove. We'll hope to uh, iterate on top of this later and potentially have some uh, functionality to auto remove this after a certain period of time but for the MVC we're just having this checkbox and having this busy indicator in different parts of the product. Uh, so that uh, is, is really exciting and I'm sure will be really useful for a lot of our users as well as some of the analytics tools that we have later on down the line. And then uh, MR Analytics is getting more and more popular and we're adding more and more great functionality to it and we will be adding the mean time to merge which is a, a great indicator or metric for showing you um, how productive your team is and how quickly they're merging their, their merge requests. So we'll be adding a, uh, a metric within uh, merge requests at the project level, uh, showing you um, mean time to merge uh, within a particular um, project, and then being able to filter by different labels in order to see uh, more specifically your team or people um, or, or things that you're working on and how and the mean time to merge for that. So uh, that's what we're covering in analytics today or for 13.6 and uh, really excited about it um, and uh, looking forward to seeing uh, everyone's feedback and thank you very much for, for listening. So uh, see you later.